Hi everyone, uh, as you can see, uh, now we're celebrating Sukkah here, this, the Sukkah here. We have the seven holy branches here, and uh, you know, we can, uh, that we build our Sukkah from here. And it's a blessing to be back in the land, because in America, they call this the bouncing bush ceremony, and we just, you know, go out and grab bushes, which you can see all of these are dry trees here. And it's like a process of cleaning the floors here in the land. And originally when our people left uh, Egypt, we dwelled in uh, booths for uh, seven days that week. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was, uh, we dwelled in booths uh, so up into the land that we, uh, up to the time we came into the land of Israel. And we were grabbing bushes along the way. It wasn't necessarily all of the holy trees. It was bushes. But once we got to the land, you know, it was, it was, it was told to us to get all of the holy trees according to the law, which we did. And now, as you can see, uh, in America, again, we did the same thing when we went there. We grabbed bushes because, of course, all of the holy trees wasn't there. So, and as you can see, I'm dressed in my traditional uh, American clothing here, ancient Hebrew. The cap is ancient Hebrew. Uh, the, uh, this here is a reference to the, the tribe of Judah in Africa, the, the elephant, the ancient piece here. This here is uh, 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 the, the skins of the, the, uh, our people that's in America. Of, uh, uh, and you can see here, this is the fringes. You hear them? So this is all a part of the, the ancient Hebrew wear or dresses. You see the shoes, even down to the shoes that we have on here. But the most important thing that we want to show you here now is what's been happening here uh, with our tree. As you can see, we, we that this is the ancient uh, this is the ancient chair up here, a relic of, of the land here. And uh, you can see our trees here. And the first tree that came forth is Judah. And this was Judah that came forth here. And it was amazing because it got eight, and, uh, and uh, it, it sprung out out of all of the trees that we planted. As you can see, all of the trees that put, came up now. Uh, it's amazing, amazing story. This is a story we're going to try to tell you real quickly. And when Judah popped up, it got eight. And then after that, after it popped up again, and then Ganja popped up with it. This is, this is Ganja that actually popped up with it and dried up now. And of course, we don't smoke no marijuana or no drugs or anything like that here. But it was just amazing how Ganja popped up with Judah. We have a videotape of one of the brothers that he, a roster, he's from the Judah people. And he was talking about how Ganja was a holy herb. <laughs> you, you see that on our video. And it possibly popped up with the tree. So they have a wild Ganja here. I, we thought it was amazing. So that's why we left it there. And here, you can see, we got all the other trees here that, that, that popped up here. But this was Ephraim, which was the second tree that popped up here. Ephraim was the second. And what ended up happening is that Judah got eight. And then after Judah got eight, Ephraim here popped up. And when Ephraim popped up, then Judah popped up again. And then Ephraim here filled the whole of this whole area here. And then what ended up happening was that after that, the whole thing got, the donkey came by and ate Ephraim. <laughs> and then after Ephraim was ate, then what ended up happening, then uh, uh, Judah shot forth, and then Manasseh here shot forth to the point where it reached up, and then we had, uh, 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 then we had all these other trees here that, uh, that step by step, we got the whole list here. Benjamin we go again here, and right now, like I was saying to you, is that we have Ephraim here that ended up uh, popping up, and we have Reuben. That, that we got Reuben and Ephraim here. This, let me give you the, the trees here. We got we got Judah on the end there, and we got the four the, the four top sons. We have Judah, Simeon, and then Levi, and then we have Reuben here. Now, because the blessing was given, because the blessing of Ephraim, Reuben's blessing was given to Ephraim, we have Ephraim and Reuben here together. And then we have, this is Joseph, which is Ephraim and Manasseh right there. And then we have all the other tribes all the way down to Benjamin, which is the, the end son there. And what ended up happening, the amazing thing, is that, is that as we started warding the trees, and as, they start, as we started talking to the certain brothers, we saw the actual scripture fulfilling itself, the trees start to come to life. And what happened here is that you can see the, the greatest ones here that we're dealing with here was we had brothers come by, that, that uh, were uh, our, our Yehudi brothers, and you'll see that in the video, and of course Judah popped up first, and then we're here, and then we had our brothers, our Ebo brothers, then that end up, as you can see, the, the last, the, they have stretched all the way out, you know what I'm saying, and we have the tribe of Gad that stretched, which Chief Ike was a part of, so we actually saw people that were affiliated with certain tribes 
that these trees popped up according to the order of these tribes. It was just amazing to us. You see what I'm saying? So now, as you can see, uh, uh, we, we show you the beginning of the tape where the trees was wiltering and dying. And now you can see they're, they're, they're put forth. Now what happened, we have this wire over because it's, uh, we, 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 the donkey came in and actually broke in and started to, uh, eating off the tree. So we had to protect it. You know what I'm saying? Because we feel that there was some proper significance of, of this. So based upon this, it started talking about, it, 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 it gave us the impression that the children of Israel had to be protected. So this is why we had this wire over here. And this is our sukkah again, and our holy fire here. And that's our mikvah over there. We have water filling up right now. We can't get the camera over there right now because our battery we then went down, so we're shooting off the car here. So what's happening is that, uh, but uh, we have, uh, we have the, this is our holy tent here. Or I should say, uh, the, tent, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the tabernacle congregation of prayer according to our organization. But we got the seven holy places according to these. This was Shia's tent here, and that's what's our tent here. And this is all of the spirit of sukkah that we were doing here. Now the whole concept of what's happening here now is that we then appeal to our brothers, and we continue to appeal to them, and there appear to be, since we have our website, there appear to be a lot of activity going on, because we have a lot of information on us online, the Mario family site, and we've been telling the people about what we've been doing toward the House of Job. We've put out a lot of information since we've been on the House of Job, and very few of our brothers responded to that. So now we've been putting out information about our family and Mario family, and the whole connection of the of the of the tour that we were working on, the translation, and a lot of people seem to have been showing a lot of interest in that. So we're taking the interest, we're telling them about how, about the tour, how we translate the tour, and we're pointing all that energy towards the house of God. So as you see now, this uh, so uh, uh, it, it remains an ongoing story. Uh, we have brothers calling uh, us up now. Uh, indicating because they've been reading about our family, the Indian co connection, and everything that's happening with the translation, that uh, that uh, that uh, that it, it, that they're starting to you know understand exactly to a certain extent what we've been doing here. Our Jewish brothers have constantly been giving us a lot of attention from day one. Uh, they have been uh, uh, sending uh, uh, newspaper reporters by here. We in newspaper articles. We got some uh, we got some uh, people talking about doing movies and stuff on us here. So uh, they, they've been interested in it from, from day one. Uh, but the Demona, on the other hand, uh, uh, they have, uh, they have, they have been, been there, but they have been at a distance. We've been constantly calling them to the house of John, and they've said that they're aware of it, but uh, they've been keeping their distance from us, and they've been keeping their distance from the house. Uh, so uh, that is, uh, we get the wind that they're going to be trying to bring 144,000 up to Israel, and of course, the ben his whole agenda is, uh, is, it seems to be self-glorification. You know, everything is centered around him, where it's not so much uh, the significance of the house. I think, uh, 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 I won't be surprised if we see him coming to the house with the 144,000, proclaiming that he is the lamb, and exalting himself once more again outside of the house of God. If this is what it takes for him to bring the people there, beautiful. As long as in the end, all of the people come to the house and we finally try to rectify the sins of our forefathers by having the Kohanim, by having the Levites come up, the high priests come up, and, and go forth in the Holy of Holies and put forth this offering for sin in order that the Most High God will forgive us, in order that this curse can be taken off of us, in order that we can continue to move on and praise the, ho and praise the holy name of God forevermore. So let me say it until you brothers and sisters again, Salama, Shalom, Shalom and Hasameh, happy holy day.